Hello, hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Diablo 2. We're at the Halls of the Dead, level 3. We have two more floors to glow through. Yes, we must glow through them. If we don't glow through them, we will somehow die. And we don't want that. Hmm, ring mail. Well, I was looking at some of my items and I was looking at some rune words. And let's see if this ring mail. Hmm. I am overburdened. Oh, I'm overburdened. We'll get there in a second. Anyway, I actually have... Those two runes that I have can be used as a rune word. So let's see if this is acceptable. Two sockets, perfect. Okay, if you have a two socket armor, and you put in a Tau rune, and then an Eth rune, we get stealth. It's more of a caster armor, because it has a cast rate and some run walk. It has some dexterity on it. It's not too bad. I mean, it's nothing really great, but it's actually a rune word. <laughs> And I'm actually going to give it to my mercenary, simply because it has a dexterity on it. Actually, I'm not going to give it to it because she needs level 17, and she's not 17 yet. So I'm going to put it on for now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, I was looking at my items. I thought that was kind of cool. Whee! There are some other low-level rune words that we can put to use, but... Um, Runes are kind of, eh, defined. Sometimes it can be kind of hard. I don't know. Woo, that's a lot of guys. Keep these guys running, too. I think that's going to turn out to be like one of my main strategies as I'm playing this, is just fear them. And then just divide and conquer. Probably gonna be the only way I can ever do anything in this game when I get later on. We're still doing pretty good right now. Let's see if we can't get a couple of potions. Well, that works. Oh, that's right, I can't use. I wonder if that's always been that way. Oh, a tier rune. I think the tier rune can also be used in a rune word for melee weapons. Oops, wrong one. I can't jump over there. Oop, oop. Blowing my mana. We'll get to the point where man is not a concern. But right now, I actually do have to worry about it. Let's see. Ten quantity left. Still going okay. That doesn't get old. We'll be able to get through this whole place today. At least I hope so. Oh, we got a, do we have a boss? Oh, no, there's only three levels. That's right. I forgot. I am bad. Well, here we are. We made it. <laughs> oh, she's cursed. I forgot. Oh. Getting surrounded. Getting surrounded. Yeah, extra strong and cursed is not something you want to deal with. Ooh. Ooh, I'm out of potions. Well, that was interesting. Did you level up yet, mercenary? No, you didn't. She has no name. She is the mercenary with no name. Zap brand again. And we got what we came for, the Haradra Cube. And I have no space for it. Get out of here, I don't want you. So let's drop this. And pick that up. So, yeah, that's what we wanted. I'll do a little rearranging. Uh, okay. Anyway, 
we can actually put this to use. I'm going to show you what we can do with it. Haraja Cube, if you right click, you can open it and you can put items in there and you can transmute them. Let me show you what that does. Three rejuvenation potions, four rejuve, 100% life and mana. Hooray! Pretty useful. So I'm going to do that. Keep a row of those. And I'll, I'll keep my low rejuves right now. A uh, good thing about the uh, the stat or the cube, it does you know it takes up four slots, but you get four, eight, and you, know, you get twelve slots. So you can uh, it's a net gain. Okay, we are done here then. Um, so what we want to do is we want to head back to town. Yeah, take the artifacts to Kane. Yeah, don't have to worry about that. And we're ready to move on to. Um, yeah, we're going to be moving on to the next quest. So we want to go back to the Dry Hills and head over to the Far Oasis, which was in the northwest corner. So I will just meet you over there since you already remember where that is. Okay, we are back and we are right here in the Far Oasis. Hooray! Oh, the Raptors are back from Act 1. And we have some new enemies, Itchies. They drain your stamina. I don't know. They're a bunch of bugs. You don't question the logic in games. Anyway, we apparently we just killed a boss. I don't know where his corpse is. Well, whatever. We killed him. Hooray, we made it. And some new enemies right here as well. Sand maggots. They lay these eggs right here that you see. If you let the eggs last for too long, they spawn little mini ones. Uh, nothing to worry about except in really, really large groups simply because then the eggs have time to hatch and the nests are back. <laughs> Never seen a hatchery blow up like that. Again, I don't think you ever would want to see one of those. So, anyway, in this area we're going to be looking for a dungeon we have to go through, but also we want to get the waypoint. And the next dungeon we're going through is the worst one in the game. Yeah, see, they spawn two of them. So basically, if they come in groups, yeah, just just don't get surrounded. Uh, death beetles. Ooh, I think this is a uh, super unique. Eh, if I don't die. Keep them running. Yeah, this is beetle burst. Run, run. I think I've said it, but good thing about Super Uniques is that they drop two items. Oh! Ah! My mercenary killed me because of that. Ah, oh, there were two of them there. Well, now you get to see what happens when you die. Anyway, you lose your items and you got to run back. Ah, I didn't get the waypoint yet. Well... All right, well, I have to run back. I'm just going to meet you back over there because I don't think you want to see a naked barbarian running around. Okay, I am back here, and you see that little purple dot on the map? That's my body. Got to get to it. Thankfully, there weren't too many enemies. Pick up my gold. And my mercenary is dead. So, what I'm going to do... Oh, by the way, she did hit level 17. Is I'm going to use my one return to town. Um, I do not want to... have her go, you know, really long. Sorry, I was not paying attention at all. I don't want her to get fall behind in levels and stuff like that. Die already. Thank you. Ooh, Grand Scepter. It's actually pretty decent damage. Eh, whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to use that, and I'm going to head to town, and we're going to put our stuff to use then. So, come here, mercenary. Hope I got the money to resurrect her. Does start to get expensive later on. Max is out at 50,000 gold. Not 2,000. We're okay. So, yeah, I gave her the stealth armor. Not a big deal, but eh, dexterity will help her out. Hopefully in some way. So, anyway, we can repair now. Hooray! And don't forget, repair the stuff in here. There we go. Perfect. So let's see. 
No, I don't. Since I have this. Oh, wait, that's normal attacks. Ugh, that's too slow. I don't like stuff that's like one handed that's really slow. I don't know why. So, anyway, let's just check it out. See if they have anything decent. Probably n nothing really. Half yeah, freeze dirt, eh. Eh. Yeah, it's. You're not gonna get a whole lot of good stuff, unfortunately, when you buy stuff. Well, let's see if they get any decent weapons. 7 to 17, that's not too bad. Of course, we do have that. Hmm. Well, I guess, uh. Yeah, I guess we're not gonna be buying anything. <laughs> Five to twenty-six, huh? Some, yeah. You know what? We'll buy this and we'll use this instead. We'll mix it up. We'll get rid of that. Why not? Need some space. All right. Well, anyway, so we did that. Let's buy some potions. And now oh, we're not level twenty-one. When you get to level twenty-one, you can gamble for circlets. They're called. And they are the best helmets in the game that you basically can acquire, for the most part. Anything decent? Ooh, a crystal sword. Poison damage, not really a big deal in this game. Um, it is nice because enemies can uh, regenerate life, and if you have poison damage, it completely negates it. Their re um, regenerating of their life. So it's something to have at least some kind of poison damage. It helps out. There are also modifications. Was that on here? No. That uh, prevent monster heal, which is nice. Which obviously does what exactly what it says it does. Yeah, scale mail. Faster hit recovery. Yeah, we'll use that over my ring mail. Great, after I just repair it too. That is my life. Yeah, a little bit more armor. And apparently we have a second floor to this place, so we'll explore down here and see if we can find the waypoint. I like how it just completely all shatters and melts. <laughs> Do we find the waypoint here? Nope. Alright, looks like we're going up then. Well, unless it's over here. That would be my luck. I would go up and not explore here. But oh, I'm out of stamina. I think that's the first time that's happened. Ooh, now we're in. Hey, look, we have T or an L. I think that's the uh, the rune word that's needed. <laughs> if you have a uh, two socket sword, axe, or mace, I think it is, you can make the steel rune word, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's nothing whatsoever spectacular, but. Yes, you can. Whee! See, I knew you could do it. I, ooh, wow, that's a lot of them. Click, 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 click. That is Diablo. Hmm. Well, yeah, why not? Good thing about wells is they regenerate really fast. So don't worry about it. Like, ooh, I can't use that. I'm full. Yeah, whatever. Click it anyway, you need the rejuvenating life. I feel kind of bad I died in Act 2 on normal. <laughs> I don't think I've had that happen in a while. Yeah, it's... I didn't even see that second one that he was cold enchanted, and that's what... That's what got me right there when he hit me. I just have to pay more attention. Yeah, the thing that's kind of annoying is if you die, your mercenary automatically dies. I mean, it makes sense, gameplay-wise. Your mercenary requires you, and, well, it's, you're not there anymore. And I think we found the waypoint. Yay, we did. The little glowing stuff gives it away. Well, let's finish clearing this out, then, so we know where we're going next time. Man, what is wrong with my stamina? I love how she just teleports in. Boom! Oh, yeah, they can shoot poison at you. Nothing to worry about. 
Okay, this is where we will be heading next time, the Maggot Lair. And it's as annoying as it sounds, the name of it. Oh, we're almost level 19, too. I got a lot of itches over there. I think what's causing my more stamina drain is that I'm using this heavier armor now. I don't know if, if it's technically heavier. Well, and we found the uh, where we'll be going after that then. But unfortunately, the maggot lair, yeah, it's not the funnest place to go. Well, anyway, we've got this cleared out, and we will be heading over here next time on Let's Play Diablo 2. I want to thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.